Hi there. Welcome to Open Specimen feature demonstration of custom plugins. In this video demonstration, I would like to walk through custom specimen collection workflow developed by Open Specimen team for Stanford Medicine. Before I demonstrate the workflow, I would like to show the study setup. For this demonstration, I will be using a study called Lung Cancer Protocol. The Lung Cancer Protocol is identified by a short code LP as shown in the brackets. The protocol or the study is set up with two events called initial visit and week two visit. Each of these events are identified by a short code W0 and W2 respectively. The initial visit event is made up of two primary specimens, whole blood in serum separate vacutainer and whole blood in EDTA vacutainer. Each of these primary specimens have aliquots as can be seen on the screen. We have three serum aliquots and five plasma aliquots. With this little bit idea about the study setup, let's see the workings of the custom workflow. The custom workflow can be accessed from the home screen by clicking on specimen collection card. The initial screen that is presented to the users is the collect visits. On this screen, the technician scans the visit barcodes or referred to as clinical barcodes in this workflow. Let me input a clinical barcode, a valid clinical barcode. Let me input another clinical barcode of a visit belonging to a different patient. Now we have inputted two clinical barcodes for two patients with different values. After inputting the clinical barcode, the technician clicks on validate to validate whether the barcode inputted are correct or not. The application breaks down the clinical barcode into individual components and presents the details of those components to the technician for review purpose. The clinical barcodes are totally customizable. The format and the components that, may, that make up the barcode can, are completely configurable. For this protocol, the barcodes are made up of the patient ID, the visit, the, yeah, for this, for this study, the clinical barcode is made up of four components, the patient ID, the visit ID, visit ID or the visit code, the visit site code, and the group to which the patient belongs to. Each of these components of the barcode are tokenized and open specimen presents the details of those components, as can be seen on the screen. If the user inputs something invalid, open specimen highlights the invalid value as shown on the screen. Let's rectify this error and move further. Once the technician reviews and confirms the details entered are correct, we proceed to collect the collect we proceed to collect primary specimens. On the next screen, there is a card for each visit. Each of this card presents the primary specimens that will be collected. Since our visit had two primary specimens, there are two entries appearing in each of these cards. Let's review and proceed to further steps. At this step, the primary specimens are collected. Now here, the technician has an option to print the aliquot labels. By default, all aliquot labels are selected and will be queued for printing. So the technician reviews the screen for each of the patient visits and submits to queue the label printing job. Once the labels are printed, the technician can now select the container to store the aliquots. 
let's use let's store the records in box 5 which has sufficient number of free locations as the technician scans the aliquot barcodes the positions where the aliquots will be stored are highlighted in green color so we have three serums aliquots and five plasma aliquots so we will enter each one of them here The position that will be assigned to aliquots are all highlighted in green color. We inputted the aliquot labels of the first patient visit. The technician now can click on process aliquots to see the positions that will be assigned to each of the aliquots. The technician can review and submit to assign the position to create the aliquots and then assign the positions to each of those aliquots. at this step the technician can assign more positions since we assigned positions for only first patient aliquots we will say yes and assign position to second patient aliquots as well now as you can see the positions have been occupied by the first specimen by the first patient aliquots any invalid entry is highlighted here since s4 label does not exist and it is not anticipated by the application the application highlights the label entered is invalid as it is not anticipating the label here we will input all the five plasma labels and proceed to the next step the technician can review the positions that will be assigned to the aliquots and submit to open specimen for storing in database at this point we say we do not have any more specimens for whom to assign the positions we can review whether the patients and their visits got created or not by going to the specific study here lp006 and lp0007 were the two patients whose specimens we collected we can we can review the patient details here and the visit details yeah now let's go into the details of how to configure the clinical barcodes the clinical barcodes are configured at the study level as shown on the screen each of these components are customizable the clinical barcode is totally customizable the order in which the component needs to be input is again customizable the plugin has its own configuration settings which appears as a tab in the study details page so it has two set two kinds of settings barcode scan settings and email notifications the barcode scan setting specifies whether the primary specimen label needs to be scanned in our demonstration we didn't scan the pr primary specimen labels and they were supposed to be collected automatically you might come across studies where the primary sum of the primary specimens might not be collected in which case you might want to say yes we want to enable primary specimen barcode scanning as well once the primary specimens are collected a notification is sent at this place is this is the place where you configure the email ids of the persons who are supposed to receive the notifications once the primary specimens are collected yeah this completes the workflow demonstration thank you for your time